In this video, I'm going to present the top five most common questions that TGI Fridays ask in their interviews, and I'm going to help you plan excellent answers that will get you the job. So let's start with the most common and probably one of the most important questions to get right, which is simply, what times can you work at TGI Fridays? They're going to be super interested in knowing your availability and making sure that matches to what they're needing. And there's some fundamental things you have to be aware of to answer this successfully. So the first thing you want to do is try and show as much flexibility as possible. They would rather employ someone with lots of flexibility than someone who is going to be very restricted to certain times because that's going to make you just a problem for the company. They want someone who is reliable, so make sure you point out that you've got good reliability and that you'll always be on time. They want someone with the right attitude. If someone is immediately going into this question and talking about all the times that they can't do, then that's a terrible way of answering this question. It sets it up very negatively. What you want to do is focus on all the times you can do and not talk in detail about all the times that you would not like to work. That's very negative. And fundamentally, they want to have someone who is committed to the company and committed to their job. And to be successful, you have to show that you are taking the job very seriously. Another great tip is to think about the things that they specifically like. So a good phrase you can use when answering this question is that you are happy to work to meet the business's needs. You can talk about the fact that you're happy to work weekends, that you're happy to come in and work at busy times, that you can work a short notice, and that you can work around the company's fundamental requirements. If you're happy to work in the evenings, public holidays, short notice, these are all great things to mention. And when you start listing these things that I've shown in green, that is going to strengthen your answer and get the restaurant manager much in, more interested in hiring you. Let's go on to another really, really important question, which is what can you tell me about TGI Fridays? If you don't prepare for this question, you are not going to be successful because you're going to turn up to your interview and not know the basic facts about the company. So make sure you plan this question out carefully and you've got all of the facts. And I'm going to run through the key facts that you need to know. So when you're answering this question, the way that you do it is by following the diagram. You start by saying the obvious things, then you show off some research and then you impress them with some detailed in-depth knowledge that shows that you've really done some research. So let's look at the key facts that you can mention at interview. So when you start describing the company, talk about it as a casual dining brand, because that's how they identify. You can say that it's American food led. So when you look at the menu, you look at American food, they match up. That is what the brand is offering. They also are driven heavily by cocktails. A lot of their sales come from that. Cocktails are very high margin, so that is part of their success. So they make a lot of money selling those. They are a mixture of corporate and franchise. So certain companies will buy the rights to run TGI Friday in specific locations. So you may be applying to a corporate-owned restaurant or to a restaurant that is being run by a franchise company. You can also talk about the fact that TGI Friday stands for Thank God It's Friday. You definitely need to know that fact before you go to your interview. It was originally founded by Alan Stillman, who started by buying a existing business called The Good Tavern, and he bought that in 1965, and that is what evolved into TGI Fridays. The company really got its big boost when it hired and was run by a man called um, Daniel Scogan, who really drove the company as its chief executive and developed the franchise model that really got the expansion of the business going. It got famous and a lot of press coverage originally when it launched Ladies' Night that was very innovative at the time where the idea was to attract women to the bar and the restaurant and they did that by offering discounts to women then you can start talking about the fact that they're expanding internationally. They're not just in the US, they've expanded to lots of different companies, uh, countries rather. They have a delivery business, so you can actually get food delivered or come into the restaurant. They have a click and collect offering where you can order online and then collect that in store. And the other good fact to know is in the vast majority of TGI Fridays, and one thing that really stands out about them and helps you identify them is that they have a large propeller usually in the bar, and it makes it stand out as quite a prominent thing that identifies it as a TGI Fridays brand, and you can mention that. Another top tip is make sure you learn the menu before interview. If you're applying for a job in a restaurant, you should know the menu. So find one online or get one from being a customer and make sure that you know it. So you can snap pictures of the menu if you go and eat there. A good idea for research is to actually go to a restaurant 
and experience it as a customer. So let's move on to the next question, which is how would you deal with a rude or upset guest if you're working at TGI Fridays? And this question isn't the easiest one to deal with if you've not prepared for it. So to be successful, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step process for answering this interview question. So the first thing you're gonna say is that you're gonna stay calm. When you're dealing with an angry or upset customer, the worst thing that you can do is be angry to them and argue back with them because that will just escalate the situation and make things worse. The next thing you mention is that you're gonna follow TGI's policies. So whatever the company states is its policy for refunds, for example, you're going to follow that. You're not gonna make up your own policies. The next thing you mention is that you're gonna use de-escalation. That means calming the situation down, getting everything under control, speaking calmly, speaking quietly, not raising your voice, and listening actively to what the customer is saying. Quite often when a customer is annoyed by something, they may get quite irate, quite rude, but in a way, it's their desperation to get someone to finally listen to them. And once customers often realize that you are actually listening to them, they calm down considerably. It's not acceptable to be rude to someone, but usually the fastest way to get the situation under control is to show that you're listening and you actually care about their concern. The rudeness is often the desperation to get your attention. The next thing you want to mention is that you are representing the TGI Fridays brand that you are the representative of the brand, you're perhaps um, in uniform, and you are identifiable as a member of the team. And so you have to be aware of everything that you do is reflecting on the brand. Then you want to make sure that you turn a negative into a positive. That's the thing that you finish the answer with, that if a guest's been having a poor experience, that you want to take that um, feedback, you ought to take that problem, solve that problem, and make sure the guest leaves having had a good experience. You're going to take ownership of that and ensure that that negative gets turned back into a positive and you maintain the high standards of the brand. The next thing you want to prepare for is a question around what experience do you have? This question for many people is a missed opportunity. If you answer this poorly, you're throwing away a fantastic opportunity to show off the great experience that you've got. So I'm gonna show you how you can answer this question in a way that actually scores really highly. So there is a systematic process to follow. So the first thing you want to do is state your job titles. So go through each job one by one, say what you're responsible for, so you can actually show what your experience really is. So I did this job, this is what I did. Then you want to try and give a good reason why you left. So that you're prepared if you ask about, well, why did you leave that job? You want to have something ready to go. And then you want to do the most important thing, which is link to the TGI Fridays role. So what was the jobs you did in the past and how is this gonna make you better at working at TGI Friday? So the way to think about how to link it back is to look at what they consider to be desirable experience. So anything that is customer facing is going to be good experience. That could be working in a store, that could be working in somewhere completely different to a restaurant, anywhere where you are interacting with customers is good experience. That could be in retail or it could be in hospitality. It doesn't matter. The point is that you have experience dealing with customers. You talk about any experience you've got on complaint resolution. If you haven't got experience working with customers perhaps, or you've got more broad experience in lots of different roles, you talk about skills in multitasking, or that you've worked in high pressure environments. These are all things that if you've got experience on, it's gonna really help your case. And so some top tips for success is remember, you can bring your resume and it actually looks quite good to have a printed one and take that with you. Be positive about previous roles. But if you're talking about jobs you've had in the past and you say mean, nasty, horrible things about the people you've worked with and say nasty, horrible things about the companies you've worked with, they're gonna think that whenever you leave TGI Fridays, you're gonna say exactly the same about us and we don't want anything to do with you. So always be positive about every single job you've ever had. Even if you didn't have the greatest experience, you must say positive things about it. Otherwise, it will reflect negatively to you make sure you link every single thing back to the job at TGI Fridays. That's what they want to know. They want someone who's got the experience that they need and you have to tell them that you have it and show that to be successful. 
And then you have to really prove that your experience counts. Just saying I've worked in restaurants in the past is not good enough. I've worked in these restaurants and this is what I did. Here's some examples of the good work I did when I worked there. That is how to be successful. The next one I want you to prepare for is why should we hire you? And it's quite a difficult one to prepare for. So a good thing to do is have a bullet point of maybe four or five things that are reasons why you should be hired. I'm gonna give you some suggestions of things that you could say, and you're gonna choose some that will match your situation. And then you can try and think up your own ones as well. So you could say that you've got extensive customer service experience and talk about all the jobs and all the times you've worked with customers. That could be a great reason to hire you. Say that you love working in restaurants. They would rather hire someone that really enjoys restaurant working and is passionate about it than someone who just sees this as just a job and just someone they have, they have to do to get money. Talk about your love of the TGI Fridays brand. If you have been a customer and you've had really positive experiences, you could talk about that as a reason why you actually want to work here. You could say things like that you're pleasant, friendly, enthusiastic, and attentive. These are all great characteristics for someone working in a restaurant. You could say something related to their specific offering. So if you have good knowledge of cocktails, say that. I would put in the word basic because if they start asking follow-up questions, you have to be ready for it. And if you've said you've got amazing, outstanding, super knowledge of cocktails, you're going to be expected to know everything. But if you say you've got basic knowledge, that restricts you to a smaller area. And then another thing you can say is that I'm high, highly reliable and I'm always on time. You could also say that I get on well with others and work effectively in a team. So what I would recommend is perhaps pausing it here for a second, going through my list here and choosing three to four as a basic starter and then thinking up a few of your own to show that you've got wide experience and there's lots of reasons why they should hire you. And if you answer this really confidently, it means that you're confident that you're definitely a good hire and so perhaps they should share your confidence. The last thing that you need to prepare for is questions to ask them at the end of the interview. And so I've got a few suggestions, three that you can take away with you, and then one which is what you've got to prepare for yourself on the day. So firstly, I would ask about the next steps in the interview process to show that you're really interested in finding out the results and that you really care about getting the job. The next thing I would do is ask about what would you suggest a new hire does right now before starting to be well prepared for starting at the actual job if you are successful. You could ask about what the manager would characterize as the ideal employee at TGI Fridays and you can link what they say back to your skills and experience. And then the last thing you want to do is listen carefully to what they are saying and come up with an, a question to ask on the day. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe below. Best of luck in your interview and thank you very much for watching.